Hi guys, it's day 20 of Art Journal Habit 2019, and today is all about mixing it up. So, uh, the prompt is mix. I have some colors out here on my palette. I'm just going to, I'm going to use some of those because, you know, since I'm mixing it up, I can use anything on this surface that I want to. So I'm going to use up some of this watercolor that I have out here on a palette. Just get that color down on my page. And get this one reactivated. I like this blue. It's beautiful blue. It's almost like a... Um, what do they call that? Uh, the gray I like. Oh boy, paints gray. <laughs> it's a blue-gray color and I'm liking that a lot. So I'm just going to clean up some of that color that I have down here, reactivating the color because we're mixing it up, right? We're just mixing these colors, getting a blend on our page. Red and blue is making a kind of a purpley color here in the center. Okay, so that's where I'm starting from. I'm going to dry that off quickly. Okay, we're not totally dry, but I'm okay with that because the next thing is I'm going to mix it up because I'm going to go to something I don't typically use with a watercolor, which is gesso. I'm just going to get some of that gesso. I'm going to scrape it down here over my page because I want to mix things up. And I'm good with that. So there's a mix. And we'll dry that. Actually, I think I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, dark titanium white into the mix, too. Why not? Because I can. Uh, if I can get the lid open. There we go. Just a smidge. All right. And I'm going to take another piece of paper. This is just um, some, and I'm going to use that to move the gesso and paint around. This is an old uh, Seth After trick, and I'm going to put it off on the other page beside it. And I'm going to dry that. Okay, you guys know I like my paints gray. So let's get a little bit of that down here on the page also. This is a Josonia paints gray. I'm going to grab a brayer. Just going to mix it up with a brayer. Get some of that texture on the page. Loving that. Okay, so a little bit heavy handed there. It's almost dry because we didn't put that much down. I am going to mix it up some more. 
by getting some other colorful things. I have some marabou, and let's get another color of paint. Let's get some, oh, I want more color than that. Let's get some tangerine. And what else do I have here? Lemon yellow. And what else? What else? Um, I want a reddish tone yet. What do I have here? I'm not grabbing what I want. a little blushing. Oops. Sorry. Uh, these are all Dina Wakely paints. Still not finding the color I'm looking for. So let me go to somebody else. There's some Quinn. Okay. So that I have these things out here. Let me just put some more layers down. I'm going to add a little of that turquoisey blue over here. Get my paper. green. Just do a little finger painting here with those colors, get them blended out. Okay, then I'm going to need to dry that off. Clean off my brayer a little bit too. Okay, and now I'm going to add a little bit of this red tone in here. So up until this point, I was recording without anybody else in the green room with, with me. Um, I was doing this before a live show, and Shell has joined me now. So I'm going to go to a voiceover and just, you know, kind of walk you through what I'm doing here. 
Now I'm adding some gesso, um, just blending some of those colors together. Uh, it's changing some of that red to a pinkish tone, which I'm good with. I like that. And um, continuing on with my background, um, what I want to do is create a shape in the middle of the page. Uh, I have this idea of what it is I want, and I want to create sort of a window. Um, and I'm leaving those open spaces kind of as the panes of the window. And then whatever excess I have, I'm just squaring off on the other page. This is the page that I will be using in the live show today. And uh, you can watch that on either Art Joy of Sharing channel or the Fast Replay, which will be on this channel. So, uh, need to stop and dry. So let's do that. So then I'm going to reach for some black gesso. I'm just going to paint out my windowsill using the gesso. And then I'll get some pens and I'll do a little bit of pen work, add some quotes and things, and uh, maybe some few scraps of paper. Not sure what all I'm going to glue down on here, but that's essentially the process for this. Um, you know, I could leave this all in real time and you guys can speed it up as you want. Or, uh, you know, because there isn't really a whole lot to talk through on these pages. I know some people say, they miss hearing my comments and um, you know as I go back and I review these things I don't see a whole lot for me to comment on um, but maybe I'm mistaken the thing I decided not to leave in here is all that drying time so I'm just taking a piece of paper here I'm going to put kind of a border on that windowsill and I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and cut that down. I'm chatting with Shell about different things, the beginning of the new year, family visiting, um, what we're going to do with our channels since the whole COPPA issue has come up and not sure how we're going to handle some of these things as it all unfolds here in the next month or so. But we shall see what we shall see. Uh, I think everybody's struggling with the same issues when it comes to that. You know, our video content is not made for children. It's made for people our age, you know. And most, most of my viewers are mid-range age adult women, not children. So uh, I, I don't see where this should really be an issue. If they're looking at who my viewers are, it's not kids. Um, but there seems to be a great deal of concern about it. So we'll see what happens in the future. So I'm going to glue that down. I'm going to grab another piece of paper that has some gel printing on it. And I'm going to cut out a few shapes from that. And, um, yeah, just not real exciting, but you can see what the real process is. If you want to speed this up, there are um, ways down below the video if you're on YouTube itself where you can speed things up. I hear from a lot of my viewers that they want to see things in real time and they want to hear me talk. And I'm saying, okay, I will try to accommodate on occasion. Not every video, that's for sure, because I bore myself. So, um, if you're new to Art Journal Habit, this is something we've been doing for about five years now. Shell and I uh, started off with two other creators in the first year that we did it, there were four of us that were 
uh, following along and we decided we wanted to make our own prompts. We made our own prompt list. Um, and, you know, we created our own hashtag in the last couple of years to be able to find other people that were working along with us on these prompts. And you can go back to Art Journal Habit 2018. Um, I think I have a playlist. I think John may have a playlist. I don't know. But if you use hashtags to search things, you can usually find some of that content and find a way of going through and watching those videos also. Um, you know, Shell and I go through these different things. This year we did uh, artist trading cards every day for a month. We are doing journal pages every day for a month. I mean, there are different things that we do within the communities. And, you know, we have several different art communities. Art Joy of Sharing is one of them. We also have Pick a Stick Challenge where we do uh, art journal pages every month. We have a challenge for that. And uh, you can find that with uh, the Facebook group or on our channels. And uh, come play along with us because, you know, if you're really into art journaling, and you want to see what others are doing, and you enjoy the play, um, it's a great way to get inspiration and prompts. So let's see, where am I on this page now? I'm getting pretty close to being done. There's those other uh, gel print pieces. I'm going to cut some of that out, glue it down. And here again, I don't have a whole lot of commentary for you. Um, I just audition these pieces, try to see where I think it's going to look good on the page and, you know, unify things on the page. Um, I'm liking the black contrast on this. And with the black border on the window, I'm this is good to add, excuse me, in the other areas of the background of the page. So I'm just going to glue those down. And reposition it because evidently I didn't get it right. The first time. Yeah, glue and paper down. Who knew? <laughs> so exciting, right? Okay. So, like I said, not every video I do is going to be in real time because these can get long. You know, I spend quite a bit of time doing art journal pages, and some of these, you know, if you look at our show, our actual show that we do on Thursdays, that's an hour and a half I spend making something. Now, it's not always an art journal page. Sometimes it's assemblage and sometimes it's uh, a panel or a canvas or some home decoration or ornament or gift cards or, you know, it could be just about anything because we're crafty. We're crafty individuals and we like to shake it up and not always do the same thing. So the content will vary and you can check it out to see if it's something that you want to watch. One of the fun things about the live show is that we can chat with our viewers as we're creating and get their input. <clears throat> Plus, uh, we get to share the screen with one another. So, you know, you get to see both creations at the same time. Shell has half of the screen and I have the other half. So 
if you're interested in watching the live show, that's Thursday at 10.30 Central Standard Time on Art Joy Sharing Channel. So I'm just using several different pens to get different uh, pen strokes, widths. And I'm going to use both black and white. I like to finish things up with the black and white uh, combination. I think I'm using a little bit of gesso on my fingertip just to uh, hit those panes of glass in the window and push the color back just a little bit further. Finger painting. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, dear. it on the sides. And that's about it. I'm uh, using these uh, glass jars from the craft store because they're easier for me to get into. And I've talked about this a number of times in my videos. So if you have trouble with your hands, it's a good thing. So there's my white Posca pen. And going around the panes of glass. So, get the black pen out and do a little bit of the border work with that. And then I'm going to reach for those, um, I think they're Kim Holtz words in a padded uh, book that you can get from most of the craft stores carry them. But I like to use them just to finish off my pages. I have this whole uh, zip binder that has all kinds of words and things in it. So I'm looking at, this is one from Delusions. I'm looking at that to see if I want to use any of those. I start to pull that and then I think, no, nah, not exactly. Excuse me where I'm headed with this. So I'm going to uh, check out these other ones and I'm going to use a glue stick, put them down because the typically the adhesive on the back of these is not strong enough to stay put. And I like to finish off my pages with some um, gel medium to seal everything down too. So I'll use uh, glue stick and gel medium to put things down on my page. And that'll be about it for today's, uh, what is this, day 20 of Art Journal Habit. So thanks for watching, guys, uh, for bearing with me. Or speeding through if you want to get ahead and not watch the blow by blow but um, I wanted to give those beginners a chance to see how this was created because you know not everybody has been doing this for a long period of time and uh, some people need more of the step by step so that's what we're doing if you need more of the step by step stuff be sure and watch um, Art Joy is sharing on our weekly Thursday show. And remember, if you are not currently a subscriber, that if you like this kind of content, to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell below for notification because otherwise you do not get notified when new video content is out. And uh, right now, YouTube is going through some changes. So I'm not sure how all of the changes are going to play out, but, you know, if you want to stay in the loop, click the bell for notification. 
Also, if you're doing any shopping and you shop on Amazon, check out my links below. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to click on that and go shop that way. But what it does is it gives a few cents to my channel when you do buy something. And that helps to support the channel, you know, so that I can buy more paper pens, ink, whatever that I use to create the videos with. So thanks for bearing with me, for being part of my community, and for most of all being kind in uh, sharing with one another. So thanks, guys, and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.